Hello and welcome along and welcome to a very, very wet Marwell Manor. Uh, we are in our Aryan 630. Uh, we're heading up to the shop. Uh, you can see in the distance over there our Axion that is uh, our Axion 870 that is currently ploughing field 15 uh, with our well sorry, subsoiling field 15 with our uh, with our big subsoiler there and uh, and getting that ready and finished. Um, that is because uh, yeah we want to get into a position where we're able to start doing some uh, seeding next time so we should be in a good position to get some seeds in the ground uh, in the meantime uh, we're going to get started on the animals today starting with the sheep uh, to do that we are going to have to get an animal transport trailer so that is why we're currently heading up to the shop so let's see how much one of those is now i think our best bet as far as this is concerned is probably going to be to rent one but uh oh no they're under their own thing aren't they they're under animal transport these days uh so we've got several choices we've got the flegal uh transporter here we've got the uh betty max uh rds 750 so that holds six cows nine pigs and ten sheep uh this holds uh six cows 12 pigs and 14 sheep and can hold horses as well uh, so I think we're going to go with this one. It is only, it is also cheaper actually. This flegal, so we can buy this, and it uh, and it not take a huge whack out of our wallet. Um, we're going to go with the class green, so we match the rest of our farm. Uh, the main colour, we could go for a black one, a grey one. Ooh, the grey one might work quite well with our stuff here. I think we, I think we might go for that. And then our wheels, we've either got the Michelin or the lizards. Uh, it throws it up a bit too much to get the Michelins. So we'll just go with that for 15,600. Buy ourselves the animal transport trailer. There we go. Now I want to, I do want to buy some bales. Uh, but the trouble is at the moment uh, we can't. Because if we buy bales in the rain uh, they will get damaged. So we've got to wait till the rain stops to do that. Uh, oh, we had those hooked up. There we go. Uh, so we're going to head to the animal yard at the moment. Now, Marwell does have this issue where the shop is actually marked as an animal dealer. Um, but the animal dealer is over that way. So let's head over there, grab ourselves some animals. Uh, probably starting with the sheep. So it's out the top of the shop here. And then back round. And I think I'll probably head the long way. Well, I don't know. I, I'm just trying to think which is the quicker way back. Um, I think it's probably through the shop is a quicker way back for us uh, from the animal dealer than from that. One thing I do like about this tractor. Oh, no, that is too early. We don't want this one. We want the next one. Uh, one thing I do like about this tractor. This is a tractor that we have the front loader on. It has a viewing window at the top. So, uh, like this, it's smaller, the smaller 400 series, uh, this uh, also has this wonderful visibility where you can see the stuff you're loading ahead, uh, which, is, uh, which is one of the reasons I got it, um, and one of the reasons why we go, went with this low one. Uh, a lot of people have said uh, in last time uh, with our setup, uh, we are going to need a big tractor, and I do agree with that. I think very much we are still in need of a big tractor on the farm. Uh, I want to get a Zerion. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have the money to do that eventually. With any luck, we'll be able to get through our first year, maybe, without having to uh, to get a new tractor. And without having to borrow too much money, because that's the other thing that's going to be the case. Right, there we are. So, if we're lucky, if we're lucky, we'll get away with that. If we're not, we won't. So, uh, actually, that, that trailer works really, really well with this tractor. I am very, very pleased with that setup. Right, let's uh, open up the back. Like so. And then we'll go and fill it with some sheep. Presuming this is, of course, the point at which... Yes, it is. Uh, it just wasn't registering at the back for some reason. Right, so we want some sheep. Um, now, I'm very tempted to try something different. 
Uh, we've got so we've got large breed sheep that grows moderately fast, has modest wool production, and requires a medium amount of feed as an adult. Uh, relatively prolific and good for uh, 50 to 85 uh, kilogram lambs. So this is the point at which we want to sell the lambs is uh, is what we want to look at. So that's the Dorsets. Uh, medium medium sheep that used for wool production grows slowly, not very prolific, doesn't require a lot of feed. So those we can't do any lambs from. The Suffolk's. Uh, uh, large beef sheep that grows produces a modest amount of wool. Uh, wool uh, requires a lot of feed. Uh, it's prolific and slow maturing. Good for 45 to uh, 65 kilogram lambs or 100 to 145 uh, pound lambs. Fairly expensive uh, one to start with. Or we've got the Dorpers, uh, which grows fast, produces no wool. So we want to we want either the Suffolk's or the Dorsets. I think. I think I'm going to go with the Suffolks. We're going to try these. Um, so we need to remember that we'd, we'd want to sell the lambs between 100 and 140 pounds. Uh, we want to get a, as many as we can fit in this trailer. There we go. Livestock trailer is full. Confirm that. Uh, and we'll go and have a look at them. Yep, that is absolutely perfect. So, nice load of lambs. Oh, loads of lice, loads of sheep. And it has stopped raining as well. So, we can, uh, we could actually go and get some, um, uh, we could go and get some straw at this point. But, I kind of want to get a couple of loads of, uh, sheep in. So, I'm going to get these back to the farm. Uh, we'll get them unloaded. And then I think we're going to go for another round. Back down and into our yard. And I think our sheep unloading point is down here. There we go. So I've started off with the sheep first. Because they will start immediately producing wool, uh, which is uh, massively useless, uh, useful to us. Sorry, um, and uh, and therefore uh, will immediately start generating us some cash. The other advantage is, and the reason why I've waited till day three is, you may be able to see now that the grass has grown a bit. So with any luck, what we'll find is that we're instantly able to have feed for them as well. So that is very much my hope. Uh, is that uh, unloading these. So move them across. That gives us 14 sheep straight off the bat. Confirm that. And if we check our sheep now, uh, we should see that they have some grass with any luck. So they don't have any grass at the moment. Uh, I'm going to give that a moment. They should be all right. What I am going to do as well, though, is turn on the water tap. And that way... Uh, the water will be filling up for them. And if we check again, yeah, you can see the water's gone right up. So I'm hoping that, yeah, they'll immediately have some grass. If they don't, uh, we're going to have to do something about it. We may have to buy some hay bales or something. We're not in a position to buy a um, any mowers yet. Uh, I am going to have a look. Somebody suggested in the comments for last episode uh, that I can up the power level on this tractor. And then use the butterfly mowers and the front mower on this. So I'm going to have a look at that. I think we might have a look as we go through the shop. Um, but yeah, that's a certain possibility. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go uh, back to the shop. We're going to go a couple more rounds. Uh, and I'll come back once, uh, once we've got uh, some more sheep. And we return with our last load. So I did, uh, I've done three more trips. Um, our last trip here, we've only grabbed eight sheep. Uh, that takes us up to a total of 50. Uh, and we're going to check and see if uh, if they've started uh, actually grazing. It looks like there's grass in their uh, pen, actually. So we'll move these across. Last one and confirm. There we are. So now we should have, yeah, plenty of grass in there, isn't there? So we'll have a look in here. 
Uh, and I know, we'll have a look in here in our livestock screen. And there we can see they're all ready. They, we need to refill their water again. But they have a good amount of grass and hay, so they're all right for a while. Um, that should certainly do them for the rest of today. Maybe uh, tomorrow. Let's uh, get this running again. I'm guessing that, uh, yeah, that is now filling up, as you can see. Uh, so that will top that off, and it's closed down. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, that is all that all done. We now have uh, 50 sheep. Uh, if we come here and press that, yeah. So we've got 50 sheep. We can take up to 500, um, but that is a good start. So that also gives us a good number as well. Uh, we can have a look here. Uh, none of them appear to be pregnant yet, which is not great. And we've got no wool yet. But again, that will update over time. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, certainly lambing season is coming up. So we should be good. Uh, we'll see if there's anything from that. But for now, that is uh, that works well. Uh, we want to put our livestock trailer away. Because we only have 8,000 left. Uh, now what I want to look for is what we can do next. In the way of collecting up grass. Uh, because... While we have this ability, and we're going to put this in this shed. Uh, while we have this ability to uh, for our sheep, what I really want to do is start getting to work on getting uh, getting the the whole stuff set up for the cows. Uh, the first step of that, and and the thing that will really help us with the sheep, especially going into next winter is going to be uh, getting some hay together. Uh, we're going to need hay certainly to feed both the cows and the sheep over winter. So the first step of that is really seeing how much power we can get out of this tractor here. So I was saying at the beginning uh, of this video, uh, we're going to pop into our workshop, which is just round here. And we will see what we can tune this to. Because we've got a, a 6.30 on here. We can tune this tractor up to a 6.60. Now, the 6.60 has 205 horsepower. It will cost us 20,000 to tune it up to this. Um, but at 200 horsepower, will that allow us to run all of those mowers? Now, it doesn't matter if it's slightly below. Uh, but we do need to be able to run all of them. 160 uh, and 70. That is 230 horsepower. So we would be a little bit underpowered for them. Um, I wouldn't like to try and uh, and try it on those hillsides. Uh, it will also mean we're probably going to have to borrow about 100,000 to do this. Now, if we do that... And we go for the loading wagon. The loading wagon is 140,000. So I think what we'd have to do is rent that. Uh, now that's the other option. Is uh, It would cost us uh, 1,405 uh, uh, 1, to rent that per day. Which is quite an expensive one. Now we could go for something smaller. I'm not really wanting to. I want to get as much class stuff as we can on here. Um... Now, to rent, uh, the other thing that we want to look at is this this nice uh, class wind rower. Uh, now, this is a mod, um, but it's 21,000. So, we are in a position where we could do all of this for about 200,000. It's quite a layout to do that. Uh, and I'm not sure how much it would cost us in... Um, stuff for that in uh, in loan interest so uh, that we need to look into i think so we could we could certainly up this tractor to 20, uh, so it cost us 20,000 to up the power on this tractor it would be um it would then be uh what did i say uh, 22,000 for the front mower 46 for the rear uh so we're looking at quite a bit what we could do actually 70 horsepower for that. What is the loading wagon's requirement? 
240 horsepower. So yeah, we couldn't tow this. Again, the tractor would be slightly underpowered for this. Um, but we could just about do it with it, I think. It would struggle on the hills. But we can't do the next thing I was thinking of, which was mount the mower on the front, the uh, the bit on the back, and go with that. We could do that with our other tractor, but I don't think that's such a wise idea. So it looks like whatever way we go with this, we're going to have to borrow a whole load of money to get it to work unfortunately and of course we do have a tractor that we can handle this but the other tractor is just doing so much work now the final thing i want to check today uh before we go any further is this so 337 000, yeah 337,500 for this this is the tractor that we're ultimately looking to get on the farm we need how much it doesn't add much for the michelins uh we'd only go with the 4000 the 4000 is 435 horsepower that is plenty uh, but this would then do our bigger jobs on the farm uh but yeah we don't have the money for this at the moment we could borrow certainly borrow the money up to this but uh yeah i don't think we can at the moment so what we're gonna do i think I may have just asked you guys what, what you think. But I think we need to get cutting the grass on here. So, that is uh, what we're going to do. We're going to up the power level on this. So, to do that, we are going to have to borrow some money. Uh, so, I'm going to borrow 100,000. We can see how much this costs us to borrow 100,000. So, we'll borrow 100,000 to do this next bit takes us in fact we only have to borrow ninety five thousand. even better um go back here and we can start as our sheep start repaying us we can start repaying this loan uh so we can now come in here customize this tractor we can throw this up to a 660 arian so customize that uh, and we're gonna go and get the uh we're gonna go and pick up some mowers for it so we're going to get the class mowers on this uh so this is we are underpowering ourselves ever so slightly for this uh but uh i think we we need to get the grass cutting so uh i want to buy that uh i could conceivably have leased these but because they're not that expensive there we go so let's hop back in and head down to the shop. <clears throat> so if we get this... Uh, now, the thing I've got to watch... Oh, okay. So looking at the weather forecast, <laughs> we have rain on the way. What is our weather forecast for the next couple of days on here? So we've got rain on the way later today. So cutting grass now is a massively not good idea. However... Looking at the weather forecast the next couple of days, we're, we're looking at having a really good drying day uh, next game day. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this, uh, take our newly tuned 660 uh, and head down to the shop, pick up our new mowers um, and get them home. Uh, and uh, what I might do is see if we can get some fertilizer into our spreader simply because we have got nothing fertilized on our on field 19 so none of our fields are fertilized at the moment um but i think i think field 19 would be a good field to get fertilized uh best way to do that is to get these mowers back to our yard uh so that we can do that and then maybe pick up some um some uh some stuff uh to to do fertilizing with i'm very aware that i i don't want to overspend i don't want to end up here with a massive amount of money spent in the first year that we're we're gonna be hard pressed to pay back especially when we want to get that uh zirion uh, at the end of the year so we we're gonna have to keep that one of the beauties of this map is the way this is set up that uh, means that we are we are in a position where uh, we're able uh, to borrow more than half a million to start off with. But if we do, as I said, we're going to be in that position where we're where we're 
massively in debt and paying a lot of money every day. So, uh, yeah, it may be a while before we get the cows on here, I think. But we will see how we go. Uh, let's get these mowers back to the yard, though. And, uh, and we'll see where we are at that point. There we go, back at the yard, and it's only a it, it's actually only three minutes past uh, two in the afternoon, so it's it's not that late in the day. This is uh, this is quite a big shed, and I'm I I very much like it. My uh, my trouble with it is. We're going to need somewhere to put our bales. So I think we're going to be stacking bales at the back uh, bit of this uh, of here. I think manual attach has messed up. Yeah, it has. There we go. So we'll put, hopefully, our rear mowers in front of our front mower here. Because we cannot use them today. As I said, if we go and cut anything today, we have to cut it and row it and collect it and i think that that at the moment would be a supremely bad idea um but i want to ask you guys what do you think we should do i do you think we should uh get the uh the forage wagon and use that so uh cut and uh cut and row and uh use the forage wagon we could make a lot of silage actually doing it that way uh, before we before we get a baler, or uh, should we get a baler and ted it and uh, and bale it and get it back here as well? So uh, yeah, let us know in the comments which you think we should go for. I think we're going to have to go for the full setup at some point. Uh, let's uh, go and check over here. So this is doing well. We're going to leave this completing its job at the moment. Uh, there's not much we can do with that though. And uh, back to here. I just, uh, this is the thing. I think I'm going to end it here today. Uh, we've got rain on the way, so we can't do anything uh, with that. Our sheep are in really good position. They will, uh, they will produce some stuff. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm not sure we, uh, we will get anything else at the moment. I think we might pick the tether up next time. We could go and pick the tether up at this point, but. I think we will uh, we will leave this for today, uh, and therefore all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.